That's the story we brought you on News 12 this summer, and now there's action in Trenton to protect DNA samples from newborns. Bipartisan support today for a bill that would ban cops from using newborns' DNA without a warrant to build a criminal case. News 12 New Jersey's Alex Adam with the story from Trenton. You should be getting a warrant, particularly when you're talking about dried blood spots from a newborn baby that are kept for years. That's the message from lawmakers in Trenton to law enforcement, particularly the state police, who are accused of using blood samples from a newborn to compare DNA profiles with family members to make a criminal case without getting a warrant. And we don't think that infant DNA should be used um, uh, unless you're going before a court and getting a warrant. The bill is released. A new proposed law that would mandate just that moved forward in the State House Committee with bipartisan support Thursday, even as the bill's sponsor admitted it's still a work in progress. The purpose is not to uh, hinder the use of technology and DNA evidence, but why would, be, why would we be circumventing judicial scrutiny? It's been standard procedure for years for the state health department to collect blood from newborns to test for a variety of diseases, which the department can then keep on file for up to 23 years. Infant DNA, uh, if you're going to keep it for 23 years, parents should be informed about that. They should be consenting to that. In Trenton, Alex Adan, News 12, New Jersey. The bill says DNA can be used to establish the identity of a person who has died or determine paternity.